Hello, it's day 20 of Veganuary and today I wanted to talk about the different kind of vegans that you're going to meet and for me veganism is kind of a spectrum rather than just one thing because you're going to meet people who describe themselves as ethical vegans and then you're going to meet people who just say that they follow a plant-based diet or they follow a vegan diet. Now there are different kinds of vegans Strictly speaking, vegan does indicate that you are following the whole lifestyle, that you are trying to avoid any sort of exploitation or cruelty to animals, any killing of animals, as far as you possibly can. Uh, that is what being a vegan essentially is, and um, you know what uh, the, the founder of veganism described it as. Um, in this day and age, however, that kind of has been tweaked a little bit and we get this full spectrum of different kinds of lifestyles that people follow. So I just wanted to address that today and just explain what the differences are. So right up at one end of the spectrum, you get the ethical vegans. Now, they are the vegans who follow the whole lifestyle. They do everything. They don't wear the leather. They don't buy anything with like feathers or any animal products that we've talked about in the past. They follow the diet. They're very, very careful about that. You know, they may have very very strong views as well most of us do that's why we're ethical vegans <laughs> I'm a, I consider myself an ethical vegan um, and then you move along a little bit you will find the environmentalist vegans the ones who decided to go vegan from an environmental point of view because they can see that it makes sense you know to look after the planet to take care of our world and habitat it makes sense to follow the lifestyle although they may be less bothered about the animal cruelty aspect. I mean, I think everyone's bothered about animal cruelty to some degree. It's just how far they go in their actions to actually reflect that is, that's where you find the difference. So I know like some vegans who are very, very concerned about the environment, um, taking care of the planet, you know, making sure that we have a safe and clean habitat to live in uh, for us, you know, and for the animals, but they're less concerned about the animal cruelty aspect that's not their main concern that's not why they came to veganism although that doesn't mean that they don't care about animals then moving along you're going to get the people who came to veganism just purely from a health point of view because they wanted the health improvements that come from following you know a good vegan diet now i mean a good vegan diet because you can be a junk food vegan okay just because you're eating vegan doesn't mean you're going to live forever and never get cancer okay vegan is not a magic bullet uh, a magic bullet right or bullet <laughs> it's not a magic bullet going vegan okay it's not going to cure all your problems all right there are some wonderful changes that you will see um especially you know quitting dairy if you had any kind of allergy to it which most of us do it's not good for us you know it sorts out our bowels when we start eating plant foods you know we, we're eating more fiber generally so generally your health is going to improve and I mean that, that's been documented and there's lots and lots of good information out on the internet if you want more information about how great the diet is and I suggest you go and check out nutritionfacts.org or look up on YouTube look up for nutrition facts look for Dr Michael Greger um, and he can basically tell you everything you need to know um, now, you've got the sort of healthy vegans who came to it just from that point of view. And then if you go a step further, um, you have people who may call themselves vegan or who might be referred to as vegan, but technically they're not because they're just following a plant-based diet. Okay, now these people, they're eating the vegan food, so you might say that they're following a vegan diet, but they're not technically vegan because they don't do the whole lifestyle it is a lifestyle not a diet okay now very often they will move on to the lifestyle as well but some people just choose to follow the diet so they exclude all animal products from their diet usually for health reasons which is a really good reason to do it um, but they don't necessarily stop wearing leather or they don't necessarily you know avoid all animal products in their life you know they, they won't buy the bedding without downing or you know they might still buy um, animal skins or, or fur you, you just don't know so don't make any assumptions when somebody tells you that they're vegan because there is sort of a little bit of haziness about the definition I mean in popular culture obviously the definition is quite clear it is that you exclude all animal products and you can find the definition actually on the vegan society website which is really really helpful but you do get people calling themselves vegan when they're actually not they may only just be following the diet um, and then you also get people um, sort of at that end of the spectrum that call themselves maybe vegan-ish or 99% vegan or 90% vegan or you know flexitarian even um, who will sometimes consume animal products they're not 100% vegan so 
vegan purists will say, you're not vegan, how dare you call yourself that? And I understand where they're coming from by saying that because yes, of course, vegans as a general rule, we would love the whole world to be vegan because we, you know, we love animals, we don't want any harm done, we want this, the planet to be safe and clean and healthy for everybody. Um, but at the same time, I would still encourage these people to come into the movement. I don't want to, to push them out. I don't want them to feel excluded. I would rather they felt included, um, you know, like the 90% vegans or the 99% vegans. No, no, let me include you. Come with me. Come, you know, let's make friends. Let's talk. Let's talk about what you're already doing that's brilliant. And, you know, how can we tweak that last 10%? What's not working for you? Talk to me. You know, I want to help with these people. I want to problem solve for them. It's like... What isn't working for you? Why are you only 90% vegan? You know, without any recrimination or guilt, just, just talk to me. It's, it's okay. It's cool. Um, so you get the people who are sort of tentatively on the border of veganism. You know, they're not quite 100% there yet, but they kind of want to be, so they might refer to themselves as vegan. So don't be confused. Um, you know, vegan is vegan. <laughs> and there are other people who call themselves vegan who aren't necessarily 100% totally vegan. So technically they're not. Um, but I like to include them anyway because I think it's really, really important for us all to be working together and trying to sing from the same hymn sheet, you know, um, and encourage people to make the right decisions, make the good decision, you know, to go to veganism 100%, to move to the lifestyle 100%. It's really not that hard. Um, so you will meet these different people who fall on the, you know, on what I call the spectrum of veganism. Um, and some of them are technically vegan and some of them are not technically vegan. OK, but that's OK, because we are all one family. We're all trying to do the right thing. We've got our own reasons for doing it. But at the end of the day, we're all moving in the right direction, you know, and we are all moving towards a vegan world, which is ideally what I would like. And what I would hope all vegans actually want for the world, which is you know, this peaceful, loving place where nobody kills anyone and the animals are killed and the planet's all healthy and happy and green and oh, wouldn't that be wonderful? So yes, you will meet different kinds of vegan, but don't be confused, not all of them are technically vegan.